Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 37 of Book 7. Now, this proposition took me a while to um, decipher, and just for fun, I'm going to actually read the proposition just because I think it's fun. If a number be measured by any number, the number which is measured will have a part called by the same name as the measuring number. Now, if we replace the word part with fraction, it's a little bit easier to understand. If a number be measured by any number, the number which is measured will have a fraction called by the same name as the measuring number. So um, just pause the video, see if you can decipher what this means on your own. So in my version of the translation, if A is measured by B, then there exists a fraction or another part of A such that it is the fraction 1 over B. So that's what we're trying to demonstrate. So if B measures A, there is another number C which measures A B number of times. So let's prove this. So we have that B measures A. Let the unit number be um, D. And let C have as many units in it as the number of times that B measures A. Now B measures A according to the units in C and D also measures C according to the units in C. So to sum that up, we have that D, sorry, D measures C the same number of times that B measures A. And according to proposition 15 of that book, of this book, if this is the case, that B measures A according to the units in C and the unit measures C according to the units in C, then we can take the inverse and say that the unit D measures B the same number of times that C will measure A. So again, that's proposition 15 of this book. So whatever part or fraction D is of B, it is the same fraction that C is of A. But the, this I'm quoting from um, Euclid's translation directly. But the unit D is a part of the number B, and it is called by the same name as it. So that's a direct quote. So therefore, A has a part C, which is called by the same number as B. And thus we have shown that if B measures A, then there can be another part C, which is a fraction one beat of A. And that is this proposition.